Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, your pony of here, the bow, how to play it, how to skill it, PVE, PVP, whatsoever, absolute monster weapon. First question to answer, why bow over musket? The reason why bow over musket is because the bow is way more agile, way more moving, less hit scan. So I like to say that if you want to fight actual range, definitely go for musket. But the bow is not range. The way I'm using the bow is more like a shotgun. I'm using it close quarter, up and personal. Like enemy is 10 meters away, I'll use it there. I'll fire my poison shot. I'll do my power shot. I'll do my triple shot even. It's quite funny. So I'm gonna say the bow is more of a shotgun for me and a mid range. And the musket is the long range. So if you're interested for long range, don't watch this video because that's where you're gonna need the musket. But if you're interested in using the bow in PvP, like a crazy shotgun, and if you want to kill every single opponent before he actually arrives at you in PvE, no problem. I get the bow for you. Here's one of the examples how I'm using the bow. Here I'm getting shot at and I'm already going significantly down. I'm we're at 900 HP. And we trip the guy, we get him down, we bring him low. He tries to escape. We stagger him, very good. But then we pretty much use our bow now on these distances here because that's that's where it just perfectly works out. That's where you have like the triple shot and the power shot for. They try to reposition on you and you just reposition on them and just get like some quick shots in. Also here to just stagger them in the beginning, they, they shoot you, you try to close some distance, you hurt them. But as soon as they try to go away and you have your cooldowns up, just use them again. Here, I was just innocently sitting around. Dude just roams up on me. As you can see, we have barely any HP left. I land the power shot, go away, then get the spear out, poke him once, sweep his legs so he doesn't hurt us, get him again, and get him down. But again, using the power shot there as a quick shotgun. He closed in, ba-bam, and then you keep moving. So all your bull skills are pretty much being used at shotgun value. The triple shot too. The triple shot is pretty much roll, roll away. He's trying to circle you and go bop, 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 triple shot. In the coming fight, I quite use the bow a lot. He attacks me. We stagger him. Instantly swap to the bow. Power shot. Missed the power shot. Use the evade shot here. I swapped that for poison now. And then instantly use the triple shot, even though he's like super close. Because he's going to be scared from the triple shot because he knows if I hit all three, it's going to hurt him a lot. Therefore, use it like really close up. Make sure they're not getting too close to you. Use it like smart. And yes, we play the bow together with the spear. And for that, we already have a whole guide up. There's a card on top of me. Let's first talk attributes and then skills. Attributes I'm very simple on 7030. So I put most of it in decks. We have 100 points in decks right now, and we have 23 points in constitution. So what I'm trying to reach is obviously the 200 node of decks, and I want to reach the 100 node of constitution because the 100 node of the constitution gives you increased max health by 10 percent of your physical armor even though i'm only using light armor that's very important because i do open pvp and pve currently for wars i'll be using medium to heavy armor because you need the magic resistance but for open world just use the light armor because it's so effing good since the bow has so many interesting skills since i don't have my weapon 20 out of 20 yet i'll be showing it here to you where you then can have all the points First and foremost, you have six abilities as always. You have the Evade Shot, Gas Bomb, Rain of Arrows, Rapid Shot, Penetrating Shot, and Splinter Shot. Let's first say Splinter Shot is completely useless, don't touch that. Rain of Arrows is equally useless because you can't cast it as fast as you can shoot the Poison Shot. The Poison Shot is really... He's like two meters away from you and you Poison Shot in front of his feet. Even hit him. Roll away. Boom. Instant Shot roll. Instant Shot roll. So good. The Evade Shot has one problem. It's good to get away, but you can get countered. So as soon as you start doing the evade shot, if you get poked by anything, he just aborts doing the evade shot and you stay on the ground. Congratulations, don't take evade shot. It's not as good as you think it is because you can actually roll. You don't need evade shot, you're good off. So what are you gonna start? What are you gonna put your very first point in is penetrating shot. Straight up, there's no question. Then second is deal 20% more damage to foes at least 10 meters away. It's just too good to not do that. We're gonna increase damage by 10% after each hit which is just one of my loving abilities because then with the rapid shot, you already have, you start with a power shot followed up with a rapid shot. First, always start with a power shot because the power shot is, a first, always start with a rapid shot and then with a power shot because the power shot is instant. So you're gonna do one hit, two hits, three hits, 10%, 10%, 10%, and then boom, instant power shot. So you're gonna be able to ramp up some damage, but the rotation should always be 
rapid shot into power shot. I'll show you that later, why the rotation is so important for that. Then also, if it hit all three arrows at the same time, cooldown is reduced by 50%. That doesn't happen much in PvP, but it also happens much in PvE. In both, it is fantastic. I have been hitting my rapid shots three times, especially because I'm using them close quarter, and then you can use a close up again. And third shot of rapid shot deals 25% extra damage. That's just so easy to achieve. There's no problem. And the cool thing about bow is all the bonus damage you can do. Because you're essentially having surprise attack. If you haven't done damage to a foe in the last 10 seconds, deal 20% extra damage. Just like that. Also, if your target is below 50% health, 20% more damage. Just like that. And as I told you, you have your power shot up. You roll away from your opponent. Swap to bow. Power shot. Roll again. Get, a, get another 20% damage boost for 5 seconds. On top of that, getting another damage boost for 5 seconds. You do get... 20% more haste for 5 seconds, but we're not there yet. <gasps> Very important skill, evasive tactics. After you dodge, you have 20% more damage. So 20% more damage, 20% more damage. 20% more damage for 10 meters away foe. Then you can take also deep strike. Penetrating shot deals 20% more damage to targets 20 meters or more away. That is good, but... In PvP, it's like for the first shot, you just get an instant 20% more damage, but sometimes they try to run away from you. So it does not really hurt to actually put a point in there. We could go for when you land a headshot, hit yourself for 10% of damage done, but that's most likely not happened. There's both shots, critical chance increased by 10%. I don't really feel that much. Increased arrow distance before of gravity by 100%. As I said, I'm using the shock in a long range, so this feels absolutely unnecessary. Heavy attacks deal 20% more damage to foes with 100% health. You don't really do heavy attacks. That's like my thing. If you... <coughs> if you have your first shot ever, sure, that would make sense. But before your first shot, if you have your first shot ever, sure, that makes sense. But apart from that, it doesn't. For example, the one where you don't deal damage for 10 seconds, you're going to start with bow shots, you're going to whip out your spear, play for the spear 10 seconds, and then you're going to swap back to your bow ability so the 10 seconds have passed already. So that's like always good. Where this one is like first shot good and that's it. So either you choose that bow shots deal critical chance by 10% or that your headshots heal you for 10% of the damage done. Now, this is like, do you want to do some more damage or do you have some more survivability? I like the 10% damage done heal for PvE, so I like to take that. And even for PvP, it doesn't hurt because if you hit that headshot, you get 10% damage healed. And we know that the bow can deal insane damage. You're talking 500,000, 1,000 plus, especially with the 10% damage stacks, 20% damage stacks. You roll and then you do the power shot. The power shot does 150% of the weapon damage. So you have like 20% bonus on that, 20% bonus on that, 20% bonus on that, 20% bonus on that, and then you heal for 10% of that. And then 20% bonus on that, and then bonus on that, you know? The, 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 the damage you deal is just absolutely mental. Last but not least, we're going for concussion. When you land a headshot, you deal 20% more damage and have a 50% to get your arrow back. Really good. Now, as we have seven points left, first, after you dodge, deal 20% more damage is fire. You could take hitting a foe below 50% health reduces bow ability recharge by 5%. That's also useful because why not? If you hit the triple shot on a PvE or PvP opponent, you get a lower. I mean, if surrounded by three or more foes within three meters, gain 33% haste. That can be good for wars, but it's kind of like an open PvP, you'll never be using that. Also, if you hit your 400% health, it goes 30% slow. Interesting, but most of the time your foes, like you hit them, you're gonna be close up and personal. You're not gonna be aiming at them from range. You're gonna go up to like 30, 20 meter range, start shooting the bow, and then you're gonna close your distance with, after you dodge, gain 20% haste for, haste for five seconds. And that's your best skill because you can run away from every, no one can ever catch you. This is the most insane skill, really. Then you go for bow, poison shot. So we could also go for infected arrows. Poison shot now deals 12% weapon damage per second for 20 seconds. And it's like kind of 10 or 12%. The 2% more is really nothing, even if it stacks over time. So I don't feel like that I want to waste a point here because you do have other shenanigans. Gain 20% haste for five seconds when you swap to your bow. That's also something to consider because you're swapping like in PvP, you're swapping quite frequently, like you're roll, roll away, swap to your bow to do your shots, and you would get 20% haste again. So it kind of feels good to have that, and it feels a waste to not go for that. We could also just debuff duration last 20% longer. So instead of doing 2% more damage per tick, you know, so you already have the standard 20 seconds of 10% weapon damage, whereas you could also have 20% longer instead. So what's better here? 
longer stack, especially because most open world PvP fights take up to a minute or more stacks. That's just, is it good? Is it bad? Do you need it? Don't you need it? But also go for deal 10% damage more to foes suffering from a debuff. And that one is just flat out more damage and it works on everything because if they suffer any debuff, any debuff, and that is your friend could put a bleed on it. You could put a bleed on it with your spear, for example. But you hit him with a poison cloud for 20 seconds. You deal 10% more damage. With your bow, keep that in mind. But it's a free 20% more damage that's just easily achieved. I mean, then you could think about the slow again, where you also standard deal more damage straight away. But I'm just more a bigger fan of having it here. I and mean, when we could go for the double, if you directly hit a target with poison shot, it deals 200% more damage. That sounds fantastic. But the reality is that I often don't hit the poison shot on the target directly. I just hit it in their direction. So I'm kind of like with a 35 second cooldown, does it really feel like the wave? Yes, we can reduce the cooldown, but it doesn't convince me 100% to put two points in here. And when we have two last points, and these are really your variety points. So you can get boost in a war here. You could hitting a foe with a debuff grants five stamina. That can be really good because you roll, roll away. Poison shot, boom hit whatsoever, get stamina back and you're able to move faster and harder. So that's quite nice. But then again, it is conditional one because you need to have a debuff and then you need to hit your shots pretty much. <laughs> so I'm more like, what are you going to do with this here? Are you just going to straight up increase your crit chance by 10%? Cool. Sounds good. Heavy attacks, errors fly faster and deal 30% more damage. Could do that. But again, you're not really doing heavy attacks in PvP ever. So there's also receive 20% less damage while aiming. That can be intriguing when you do the triple shot. Because as I said, often you do the triple shot as like some close quarter combat. And you can take one hit. So the worst, the worst that happens is that you take one hit while doing this. Usually you're going to try to beat on distance where you don't take one hit. Especially if you hit the third shot. The third shot staggers. Okay. It always staggers. So it always knocks back, which is really cool apart from hatchet players. So that's where I'm like kind of trying to really go to the like maybe take one hit. So you could go for take 20% less damage here. But again, this is like your complete free point that you can roam around. And that's what I'm essentially using for PvP. But the most important part is that you also learn the movement trick again. As you can see here, I'm rolling and swapping my bow so I don't get the stop at the end of the roll. And the good thing is like, do you see how I permanently just have my movement buff? So when I do this, like roll, roll, and I'm just, I'm, my, my speed is just increased. Not only my speed is increased, I also get like the 20% bonus damage. So I'm constantly just having my speed increase and no one can catch you. If you're zooming like this in light armor and if you need to create distance, it's perfect. The most important part though is when you start shooting, you don't start with a power shot because if I start with a power shot and then instantly try to do the triple shot, do you see, do you see the delay there is between these two? There's like, there's like a huge noticeable delay between these two. If we do it the other way around, you start with a triple shot, one, two, three, and then you could instantly start with a power shot because the power shot is always instant. The same goes with the poison shot. The poison shot, no matter what you do, it just pulls out and goes instant. And then you're going to shoot it at the feet of someone in the direction of someone. I'm also shoot it at their feet because you can so easily miss the character with the hit skin in the game that you just want to hit on their feet. But the most important part is really that you go for the triple shot into the power shot because it's really instant. You do roll, triple shot, and then you could do another roll if you feel like, and then power shot. And you always get 20% movement while you're doing that. Then you need to create some distance. You can create your spear, use your spear, create some distance, whoop it out, do it again. That's what the spear is like so good for. Bow is just perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more bow spear PvP, we're uploading constantly videos about that. So you're going to see more guides. You're going to see in-depth PvP videos. You're going to see highlights where just clapping jimmies, but also where we really go down fight to fight. What have we been doing? What, where, where were our decision making? Why did we roll there? You know, a play by play for PvP for the people that are still trying to learn. I hope you like these styles of videos. I mean, that's my spear and bow. That's what I'm an expert at more likely. I've been playing this so much, like over 200 hours already. Yes, I've been playing every single alpha, beta, whatsoever, close beta, making 60 in the close beta and so on. Almost 60 now. We're currently at 42 at like 35, 36 hours playtime. So we're doing very good. But yeah, that's what I'm an expert in. I will be testing the other weapons too over time. Obviously, I highly encourage you to turn open PvP on. If you feel insecure, try some duels in front of the town with your friends. Get some expertise. But killing people in PvP gives you so much weapon XP. My weapon XP is so high. Last time I reached level 60 and my weapon XP, I, I did not have 20-20 in weapon skill. 
I just reached level 60 without having 20, 20 weapons. That, that's terrible, right? So GG, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Hopefully enjoying. Again, there's a spear guide. There's a movement guide. There is a PVP video already out. So all that content is there. Thanks for being here. Subscribe if you would like to see more and see you in the next video.